Today I'd like to be able to share, continue our, our uh, series that we're doing on the grace of God. The grace of God is supposed to underline every paradigm, every thought, every move that we have uh, and that we make in the kingdom of God. It must be the very thing that moves us, animates us. You know, I remember um, as we were singing the second to the last song earlier, I remember many years ago the Lord spoke to me. I, I, did, I did not, I understood what He said, but I did not really realize the depth of what He said until recently. And uh, one time He spoke to me and all He said was, I love you. I love you. And uh, of course I said, I know that Lord. I mean, I've read it in the Bible. I know you love me in everlasting love. And he said, no, you don't understand. I love you simply for who you are. Before you do anything, I love you. And then he started to show me that, he said, most people love me because of what I do for them. I love you simply because of who you are. And he said, you know what, I don't mind if people love me because of what I do. I don't mind. I still love you anyway. And I started to realize that God's love is so unconditional that if I never did anything again, He would still love me. Even when I sin, He still loves me. It's not because of what I do, but simply because of who I am. I am His Son. And the same thing with you. He loves you just because. Just because of who you are. If you never did anything else in your life, never did anything righteous, never served Him, you will never serve Him again, He will still love you. Isn't God so awesome? The title of this message is How is grace better than the law? How is grace better than the law? If I were to ask you a question, what is the Bible? What's it all about? If you're going to think about the Bible and try to answer what in one sentence, what is the Bible all about? I think it would be safe to say that the Bible is all about Jesus. If we're going to uber simplify it, I mean down to its very core, it is about Jesus Christ. It's about Jesus. A pastor's daughter was once asked when she was five years old, I think, or four. She was asked, what is the Bible all about? And she said, it's the book about Jesus with a red string in it. And the first time I read that, the first thing that entered my mind about the red string is the blood of Jesus that goes from Genesis to Revelation. I didn't realize what she meant was the red marker, the book marker. But you know what? It's so true. You simplify the Bible, it's all about Jesus Christ. He was the one in the beginning that created the heavens and the earth. And he's the soon and coming king in Revelation. And every book in the Bible, from Genesis, you find him in the law. Genesis, Exodus, what's next? Anyone know? Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy. You find him in the history books, starting with Joshua, all the way until Chronicles. You find him in the prophetic books, or the poetic books. Going from Job, all the way up to Malachi. You find him in the Gospels, you find him in the Book of Acts, you find him in the Pauline Epistles, you find him in the Pastoral Epistles, and you finally find him also in the Book of Revelation. He is the one personality that you will find in every book of the Bible, in every, just about every typology that you will find in the Bible, you will always find Jesus Christ there. The whole Bible is all about him. And what's interesting is this, John, the, uh, uh, the apostle, saw something really amazing in the Bible. There's this verse, look at this. Look at this, in Revelation 5, verses 5 and 6, it says, But one of the elders said to me, Do not weep. Behold, the lion of the tribe of Judah, the root of David, 
has prevailed to open the scroll and to loose its seven seals. This, this elder said, behold, or look, to behold means to look. He said, look, it's the lion of the tribe of Judah. And then look at this. And I looked, John said, and behold, I saw in the midst of the throne of the four living creatures and in the midst of the elders stood a lamb as though it had been slain. The elder said, look, a lion. When he looked, it was a lamb. Jesus is the lion of the tribe of Judah, but he prefers to be known as the lamb that was slain. It's the red string. It's the blood that permeates. You know, one thing about the Bible, it's a book for every kind of, for every person. You want, you like reading love stories? There are love stories there. You've got Song of Songs. You've got Ruth. You've got Jeremiah. You've got Genesis. You want drama. Oh, lots of drama in the Bible. You like blood. You like action. You like gore. You like heads rolling on the ground. Just read Kings and Chronicles. You know, I mean, I tell you, the Bible is a bloody book. Just about any kind of genre, any kind of literature, you will find in the Bible. It is an amazing book, this Bible. 